I know you're sick of being bare, so today... Raise your hand next time, bald baby, but yes, today I'm going to look for a little bit more signs of hopium within the context that right now is not the greatest time to be looking for long positions, so I'm not going that far in my analysis, but rather I'm looking for signs of potential bullishness with a very, very strong downturn that we have going on right now. So today we're going to break this down very simplistically. Your analysis is that Bitcoin will simply go up because now we're all bearish, going straight to here. <laughs> oh shit, Kostas is bullish! Not that simple, but let's dive in. You ready? You better be. I'm on the Bitcoin weekly chart. Down here is the 12 EMA of the RSI of the week. This is what it looks like with RSI back on. And now I'll take it back off. What we can observe here is that trend lines really do hold up within the RSI. Even channels hold up and you can use similar methods within the RSI, particularly the EMAs of the RSI because it smooths it out. It's less finicky because the life cycle trend of Bitcoin going back to 2011, you can see that Bitcoin does indeed form trend lines. They do indeed hold up for long periods of time. I'm going to zoom in on this point here and we can see that that over the next two to three weeks, Bitcoin does indeed have a solid chance of turning around. But within that turning around, sometimes the EMA itself does go a little bit below the trend lines, a little tiny dip like this. When the trend line is expected, it makes the move two to three weeks later than what it would be if it just touched and pinged. Within this analysis of looking for possible bullish signs, this could be two to three, maybe even four weeks out until prices back above current levels of 46k however this is something on the horizon that could build up so for you gamblers out there this means don't look at this analysis and start going long on 25x you shouldn't be using more than 5x anyway unless you're on the five minute to one hour time frame getting in and out of positions multiple times within a day now I'm on the daily chart of Bitcoin and I have the same EMA of RSI down here. But again, this is for the daily chart, so it looks different. And what we're looking for down here is with the exception of coronavirus, which was March of 2020, roughly, the daily RSI's 12 EMA got within the red zone and did a V-shaped correction without a higher low and without creeping up to this red line with a positive slope and a higher low. Coronavirus was the only V-shaped correction and all other times that the RSI's EMA of the daily got out of here, it got a positive slope, made a higher low positive slope somewhere around this red line before the true takeoff every single time but one. The way you're going to be able to use this is to essentially front run the weekly signal since that weekly RSI's EMA on that trend line is going to be a lot slower because the line doesn't move or lock into place for a whole seven days. So if you can interpret signals on the daily, keeping in mind that weekly trend line, then that will allow you to more appropriately get into positions, whether that is dollar cost averaging on altcoins or to start considering stopping your short trade positions and focusing your mindset on a possible strong bounce. What we're going to do next is we're going to look at all of the cases within price itself as the RSI's EMA of the daily worked its way out of that bearish control zone and got closer to the red line. We're going to view what price did and how it behaved so that we know all of the iterations of the past so we can have an idea of what might happen in the near future. Flip your phones or get flipped off. Flip your phones vertically and hit that like button. Leave me a quick comment down below and just close your eyes and type a bunch of stuff and let's see how crazy it gets. Here's what's to help you. Hit that bell because that's going to allow me to deliver information to you in a time sensitive fashion to help you out in your crypto journey. Smash that bell. We're in this together. Now let's take a look at all these reiterations of how Bitcoin worked its way out of this quicksand within the RSI. Turn on your microphone and camera and ask me questions directly in live. Links to the Discord community within the description section. Follow me on Twitter, Cosas Verdes 2, Cosas Verdes 2, giggity giggity, let's jump in the charts. To start, we're going to go way back in time to 2014 during this bear market. And what I'm about to show you is also going to give you a heads up on what to look out for if what is going to follow is going to be a dead cat bounce or not. So pay attention. Zooming in on this bounce, the move did not happen until the RSI was able to get a positive slope, tick back down, tick back 
back up, which in fact makes this a higher low. I'm gonna zoom in even more so you can see this. Now we're zoomed way in there. If you can see at the bottom of the screen, got a positive slope, negative slope, positive slope, which makes that juncture a higher low. This is where the move began. Did the move hold up? Absolutely not. So if Bitcoin is indeed going to enter a dead cat bounces territory, perhaps somewhere around 54K to 57K, maybe as high as even 60K, what you're gonna see is the daily RSI's EMA will get somewhere closer to the white neutral line up here. Let me zoom out so you can see this better. It will get closer to this white line, but then get a negative slope before it passes this horizontal neutral line here. And if you see that happening, well, that means it's about ready to likely make lower lows. In this case, it did end up making lower lows as this RSI got rejected by that white neutral line. Let's go to this area here and see how it worked its way out. April 2014. You can see here during this move, you did not get any higher low. The slope became positive and stayed positive. But what happened? That wasn't the actual move. The actual move was this big hump here. And this was the real move. And what happened right around here before the actual move happened? Low, higher low, and then it blasted up. All that time, the RSI's EMA of the daily was working its way up around this red line while forming a higher low after getting a positive slope. Positive slope, negative slope, went back positive right after it switched back positive on that tick right there. This would be the daily candle to get your signal that the previous price action was a low and a move is ready to happen. Throughout the rest of the bear market, yes, you got higher lows and really no move coincided. It's just the RSI kept bumping its head either on the red line or the white line. Two things to really look out for for a dead cat bounce. Dead cat bounce, kaboom, bumped its head on the red line. Dead cat bounce right after, bounced its head on the white line and continued making lower lows. As Bitcoin is getting around 53 to maybe even as high as 59K, what you need to look out for is as it's starting to turn around, is the 12 EMA of the daily RSI bumping its head on the red line, which would probably be equivalent to Bitcoin at 53K, or the white line, which might be more equivalent to 57 to 58K. Is that happening? Is it starting to turn around? Well, that would be your warning. For example, if something in current price history were to happen, now we're focused on this section here, September of 2015. This marked what was the end of the bear market, but no one knew that at this time. So look at what signals you got here. It's very interesting. The RSI EMA got into the red zone, got a positive slope, first negative tick, and it's close to the red line, got a higher low. So let me zoom in on this positive slope, got a negative slope. First tick, that's technically a first higher low, but actually formed another higher low that's higher than the original one. So you would have either entered around here or around here. Either way, the position was roughly the same before a massive move up. And that's when Bitcoin more than doubled within 50 days. Now going to January, February of 2016, you had a 23% dip, which was at that time probably perceived as a crash, people freaking out. What happened? The EMA touched the red zone, which still counts. And in order to dig itself out, it had to get a positive slope, get a negative slope, form a higher low, and then again, form a positive slope. So around here on this tick, go up to this candle right there. That would be your signal to enter. And you would have gotten that move very nicely zooming out, which then led to continuation with a lot of wishy-washy stuff as Bitcoin was a much smaller asset with a much smaller market cap. Once again, this would have been a good time to have, for example, been dollar cost averaging or using your tether to buy back your altcoins because that was the beginning of a much larger move to the upside marked by this very simple rule. Mid-late summer of 2016, June to September, you had a 40% drop from top to bottom. RSI got into the red zone as price was trying to dig itself out of this hole before the continuation move up. RSI finally gained a positive slope, got a negative slope, and then a positive slope again. And that was your first higher low. Was it close to this red line? It was a little far away, but the rule applied. It was creeping up close to this red line, got that higher low, and you would have entered on this tick right here. And then when a second higher low formed over yonder, that was this candle right here, right before a massive continuation move. Most of the other iterations of this got a little bit closer to that red line. So this was kind of the oddball, but the rule still applied. None of this move is part of the rule because the RSI was not in the red zone. Neither was this one because you were in a massive uptrend.
bear market of 2018 after 2017's 20k top each of these marked by getting in the red zone positive slope negative slope first higher low after that tick up you would have been safe to re-enter here where did this top out you could have had a big warning shot that this was going to head back down Ta -da! the ema bumped its head on that white line did it pass it by a little bit it absolutely did the next dead cat bounce of 2018 in april negative slope positive slope but it made a lower low that's why you wait for the uptick positive slope negative slope then uptick you would have been comfortable entering right around this point which was this candle right here and then you got a nice move to the upside which ended up being a dead cat bounce as well but we are focused on the relief rally and what signs you can see another dead cat bounce of july 2018 this one was a little bit trickier you had a positive slope form and it never turned negative until here then on that tick positive right there you would have entered on this candle right here and you got the larger portion of the move as opposed to trying to long from here you would have long from here which only gave you on a percentage difference seven percent difference just to have that patience to catch the greater move this was the last baby dead cat bounce in august 2018 same rule applied got into the red zone negative slope positive slope negative slope on that positive tick up right there you would have been entering on that green candle right here if you got in on the middle of that candle that would have led you to a 16 percent move in bitcoin out of the total move from wick low of 25 percent so to get much more than half of that is pretty good signal skipping to december of 2019 when bitcoin essentially went sideways between 6 to 10k for a couple years entered the red zone got a positive slope got a negative slope formed a higher low you would have entered here did that signal work perfectly it absolutely did not then you got another tick down and then a tick up which gave you another higher low higher than this one so your entry would have taken two attempts but on this tick right here with that closure tick this would have been your sign to start re-entering perhaps buying altcoins which led to a massive run-up before the coronavirus dump so it got the general turnaround although there was a clear stop hunt here but that exact candle with that tick up after the second higher low would have been the initiator of the general move up in that channel for the recent wyckoff move when bitcoin went down to 29k and bounced around down there for two months this is going to show you the importance of this rule applying closer to that red line as opposed to farther down the closer to the red line that you can get a higher low the more likely it is that this will be a good signal for you all of this Wyckoff drop area down around 40k to 29k all of this action here was pretty far below the red line but after a higher low was formed a little bit closer to the red line the signal still wasn't perfect then another higher low formed and on this tick right here this only took two tries and to get into a trade that only takes two attempts that is a pretty darn good signal you should never be having the expectations that signal give you a guarantee that the first time it hits it's the perfect entry only having to try two times is pretty solid on the closure of this day right here of july 21st would have been your entry so you would have been entering after that closure technically on that baby candle there which obviously led to a great move and again you only had to try twice using the signal Let's take a look at what Bitcoin has cooking in the kitchen right now. You have nothing but lower lows down here. This means that Bitcoin has a lot of work to do, but this aligns with the idea that back on the weekly chart, the trend lines that we were looking at in order for Bitcoin's RSI's EMA to hit that, it might take two to three weeks. And this seems to align because Bitcoin has to dig out of here, get closer to this red line and form a higher low in all of this. Let's measure the time frame. That says 16 days for that to happen. That aligns with the idea of two to three weeks. Bitcoin has a lot of work to do before a sustainable move to the upside can happen. Do you remember the two levels that you need to be paying attention to in order to determine is this going to be a dead cat bounce? I'm back on current price action. So remember, if Bitcoin can get up here and perhaps hit 53K, that might be about the time that the RSI's EMA on the daily is hitting the red zone. If Bitcoin charges up higher, which I think it has a decent chance of doing, maybe around 57K, that would be about the time that this EMA is hitting this white line. And then if you see that start to go negative, you start getting bearish EMA crosses on the four hour time frame. Well, that means you might want to bail out of some positions at that time because that would be a good indicator that 
that things are going to retest lower and that was a dead cat bounce. If you want to learn how to set up a chart just like mine, click this link right here. I just remade the video. Somebody left the comment saying it's the best trading view tutorial video they've ever watched. Here's a crypto story that might lighten the mood and it's not by me. However, you should check it out. It's somebody doing good deeds with the crypto profit that they've taken. And if you're new to my channel, you need to subscribe. Click that circle right here. You just got Timified Worldwide. Peace.